<laughs> we're back in the kitchen <laughs> cooking I'm with Rainy. Well, we're talking about how how great of a singer Rainy is. I am is. really good. <laughs> how loud she likes to sing in church. And how my kids are really embarrassed by it, by the way. But I don't care. Well, I love what you did today because we just put up our tree and put up the decorations and we only lost one ornament, but I was just worried the whole time. That, that was basically it, me being worried that we were going to yeah. drop all the ornaments. Yeah. You say make a party out of it, and so we're making some I festive make, food. I absolutely make a party out of it. And I'll tell you, a lot of times what we do is we invite folks to our home who may not put up a Christmas tree. Very nice. And they really get into trimming the tree. And Watching you trim the tree? Well, no. I'll, <laughs> I'll let them help. It's fun because when, when the kids were little, you know, the one portion of the tree, depending on the height of the child, was very full with ornaments. And then, right. of course, at night when they went to bed, I redid the whole thing. I am a little... Of a perfectionist? Yay. Maybe a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm with you, Randy. I totally get it. We're going to make a cheese spread, but okay. what we want to do is take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here and add a little garlic. We're not really cooking the garlic. We're more or less infusing the oil with the garlic. We're warming it a <laughs> bit, so it doesn't have to, like, cook. Right. So I, I have that on, and what I'm going to do is take some goat cheese next. <gasps> oh, I love goat I cheese. I know you do. I love goat cheese. And favorite. I also am going to take a little bit of ricotta. Second favorite cheese. Yay. <laughs> Put that in here. And the, obviously I'm doing this in the bowl of a food processor. Can and you then, do this in just a bowl and mix it, or would it make it hard? Uh, would it make it uh, more you, difficult? You want this to be more smooth. Okay. And then we've got some fresh mm, thyme. Oh, that does smell good. Mm -hmm. Fresh is always better. It is. And I don't know if you can get this, but is it starting to smell a little? It is. A little aromatic. And here's some chives. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I like to add a little bit of salt and some pepper to this. And you can always adjust it later. And some pepper. Yummy. And first, before I do anything, I'm going to process this. Get everything blended. Yeah. Ricotta and goat cheese. I got a lot of machinery going on today. You do. Yeah. That kind of a day. These tools have made life so much easier, oh, though, haven't I they? No. Do you know when I started my catering business back in the day, the first, first thing I bought was a food processor? Back in 1979. Wow. How long did it last you? Uh, we still have it. I bet it's you do. It's the little war horse is what we call it. <laughs> now, I've, they were little. Now, they're obviously they're, Much they're bigger. big. Yeah. So here, I did what I wanted to do. And this Send is this not things. It's not cooked. It's just infused. But I don't want to use the kind of olive oil that you can buy that's garlic infused. I think that has an artificial taste to it. Yeah, and it's so easy to do. Yeah. For heck, you know, for a, a moment. Right. It doesn't take long. Okay. So now what we're going to do is talk about the biscotti that we put in the oven. I can't wait. Yay. Do you want to move this pan out of the way? That would be great. You're going to put that here. Okay. Thank you. And here's Yum. what they look like when they come out and they're baked. Don't touch the I, pot. It's I, hot. <laughs> there. Nails. That's why, that's why God created <laughs> fingernails. And I'm going to reach for it, too. Okay. So that look takes how cute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. There's more. Of there's course there's more. more. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a Festive bowl. You always have festive things. Festive bowl. Look, see, this is why you need the food processor. It gets it really nice and blended. It's a spread, and you really want it to be a, a spread. This looks so good, Rainia. And there's a lot of it. So, you know, you can, I would say, do not cut the recipe for the biscotti in half at all, because quite frankly, if you were to do that, that's silly. You're doing all this work. Make it, freeze it. Right. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Now, here's a little spreader. I can't wait. Another festive item I from, know, the, from you... the home of Rainier. It's not even just where do you find these. Where do you keep it all? Well, on the third floor, I have the Christmas closet. The Christmas closet. Then I also have in storage the Christmas storage unit. And then I also have mm. in the basement in the furnace room the Christmas furnace room. I have a lot of Christmas. That is really good. 
I like Christmas. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I like Christmas too. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I think it's delicious. Thanks. And we're going to make some more things next week. Next week, you know what we're doing? Hmm. We're going to, unfortunately, not have the great aromas that you normally have in the studio because we are making ornaments with plastic. And we're going to bake them in the oven in, in like in a cookie cutting form. Oh, cool. And, you know, plastic doesn't smell so good, but that's okay. They're super easy. It's a great thing for you to make with your children. And then we're going to make two drinks. This is like a DIY day. I love DIY yeah. day. And one of them is going to be a hot cocoa with a little marshmallow snowman and a little candy cane. And the other one is going to be something definitely alcoholic. <laughs> To help for the parents if you need it. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. You can see my Pinterest fails next week. Can't wait for that. For today's recipes, you can go to kdk.com. We have them posted for you on our Pittsburgh Today Live page, along with a link to Rainia's Catering if you'd rather let her do the cooking for you. Thanks so much, Rainia. You're welcome. So much fun. We'll be